Welcome to the Cosmic Life Web. We'd like to take a little time to share about this life web, what it's for, what's in it, and how you can use it throughout your whole journey. And then we're going to invite you to create your own. Your totally unique and ever evolving life web will play a huge role in your journey. So this is a module worth spending some time in. One way to think of the cosmic life web is that it's a sacred container or alchemical vessel that you intuitively create and then continue to use, add to, and build upon as you move along your dream arc journey. And another way to see the life web is to see it as an actual process that you go through, both with others and yourself. And this process is here to support you in diving deep into a world of symbols, animals, dreams, and experiences while it holds you in a seamless and visible current of cosmic intelligence. On a practical level, as you move through each module of this course in your own rhythm, your own order, and according to your own intuition, you'll be choosing certain animals, or they'll be choosing you, and out of those animals, you'll be actually forming a web of connections and relationships. Think of it kind of like one by one, you'll be calling in an inner council or constellation of beings who will populate and form and enliven your cosmic life web. Each one of the animals you connect with will be offering you its power. If you let it, it will come to live inside of you. It will light you up in some way and guide you. As you approach the end of the course, which can be re-experienced as many times as you like, and as you approach the very core of your web, you will be asked to choose your kin, one special animal with whom you feel a profound connection. Now, it's very possible that your kin will not only be the animal that you choose to sit at the heart of your dream arc journey, but the animal you will intimately travel with for the rest of your life. When you arrive at the kin module, you'll also be invited to reach out and connect with other people who share the same kin as you. And we would not be surprised if you come to experience a deep bond with these people. The process of creating and living out the unfolding story of your cosmic life web is not something that you do over a weekend. It's not something you do in a month. It can take many months. It can take years, even an entire lifetime. So we invite you to take a deep breath, relax, and give yourself full permission to enjoy the ride and let it take you where you're meant to go. The Dream Arc's Cosmic Life Web contains the following. The 12 creature categories, each protected by one of the 12 guardians. The guardians, the changers, the unifiers, the laughers, the journeyers, the warriors, the dreamers, the hunters, the healers, the messengers, the tricksters, and the leapers. The three portal creatures, the praying mantis representing the power of ritual, the camel representing the gift of resilience, and the woodpecker representing the importance of rhythm. These portal creatures, as Richard already so beautifully shared about in the previous module, are here to help you set your intentions for your journey, provide you with support and guidance anytime you experience challenges, and they're here to bridge the three realms of the upper, middle, and lower worlds. These three worlds can be integrated into the cosmic life web in different ways, depending on what feels right to the journeyer. As in this example, the three worlds can be represented by a vertical tree in the background with its roots, trunk, and branches. Or they can be occupying concentric circles inside of the life web with the lower world at the core of the life web, the upper world along the circle's edge, and the middle world connecting the two. Or they can be integrated in a completely different way. For some journeyers, the portal creatures may always occupy a special seat on their cosmic life web. For others, they may move on and off and around the web according to where and when they're needed or called in for support. The spider, or galactic dream weaver, of course, has an absolutely essential place in the cosmic life web, although you may not necessarily see her. 
Sometimes she might come out and sit at the very heart of the web, but most of the time she's likely going to be weaving the entire web into being from behind the scenes, only occasionally coming into view. Whether we see her or not, she is always there, showing us our fears, teaching us to embrace them through our breath and loving presence, reminding us of who we are and why we're here making this dream arc journey in the first place. At some point, as it is revealed to us through our journey, our kin will also become visible in the cosmic life web. Although how that happens, when that happens, is a mystery for each of us to uncover. So how does the journey unfold through the cosmic life web with its 12 categories and the ultimate revelation of our kin? Each module representing one of the categories will be a journey in its own right. If you follow the maps that we've provided for you, you'll see that they each include six steps. The first step in every journey is the invitation to explore the habitat. And this is where you're going to get to receive a profound, inspiring teaching or transmission from Richard. He'll be giving you the lay of the land for each category, sharing stories, myths, themes, insights, cultural associations, and mysteries, extending guidance and invitations to contemplate, all illuminating the essence of the category and the journey that is beckoning you deep from within. The second step in every journey is finding your animal or allowing yourself to be found by your animal. The way you and your animal find each other will be different depending on the module that you're in, but what matters here is that every time you enter a new module, you will be invited to form a special relationship with at least one of the creatures that belongs to that particular category. So if you're somebody who loves to go broad before you go deep, you may feel like you have to learn about all the creatures in a given category before choosing one to explore on a deeper level. Or if you feel more drawn to surrendering to synchronicity, you may prefer to allow the one animal that you've chosen or has chosen you to come into focus and to just go for it. Even if at first you're not even sure how or whether you resonate with it at all. Or you may find that the first time you visit a module, one animal shows up as a clear ally, but then as you move along your dream arc journey, you're called back to the same module or category. And this next time you discover that an entirely different animal is calling out to you for your attention and exploration. So however you approach the process, you're gonna find that each module will bring into your life and life web one or more animals who are meant for you. And we really invite you to find creative ways to presence these animals on your cosmic life web as you move from category to category. The dive in step in each module is all about offering you all kinds of experiential and creative opportunities. You may receive invitations to explore the specific animal that you chose uh, or that chose you in the find your animal step or you may receive invitations to explore the deeper underlying themes of the category itself, whether it be the art of leaping or healing or hunting or how to become a spiritual warrior. Some of the dive-in invitations you'll receive will actually lead you to explore animals that don't belong to the category at all or aren't even in the Dream Art Codex. So remember, this is a non-linear magical journey you're embarking upon. So what I want to say here is that every time you receive a dive-in invitation and have an experience, we really encourage you to integrate something from that experience into your cosmic life web in whichever way feels right to you. The receive some inspiration step is all about relaxing and receiving. Whether you're watching an interview of an indigenous or a non-indigenous wisdom keeper, or you're enjoying visual art, listening to music, or following a movie recommendation, just trust your intuition when it comes to choosing something or someone to engage with, and then fully receive it. Expand your circle. This step provides you with the opportunity to share about your experiences, insights, animals, dreams, and journey with others. This is also a wonderful place for you to share images or footage of your cosmic life web with your fellow travelers. So let it reflect the place you find yourself in your journey. Share about how it's changing and evolving and how the module or category you happen to be in has impacted your life web as well as your life. Remember to receive inspiration from those who've been led to the same category as you at the same time. Reveal your next quest. 
This is the final stage in every module, where you'll get to find out which category or DreamArc frontier is calling you next. You'll find a couple of fun options at the end of each module in the online course, intentionally designed to help reveal your next quest. If you choose the Oracle, be open to the possibility that it's going to guide you back to a category where you've already been. This may mean that there's another animal there that you're meant to choose or be chosen by, or perhaps you're meant to go deeper into the codex or into one or more of the dive-in invitations or into the receive some inspiration offerings, or to connect more transparently and authentically with others in the expand your circle sections or something else. If you're pretty sure that you don't need to return to that category, that's totally fine. Just click that oracle again until it leads you to a brand new module or one that just intuitively feels right to you. Trust your guidance. And of course, you don't have to use the online oracle or our suggested prompts at all. There are infinite ways for your next quest to be revealed to you. And soon I'm going to be sharing how you can create your own, your very own oracular dream arc toolkit. Before I do that, keep in mind that the dream arc was designed to be non-linear. No two participants will follow the exact same path. So once you've initiated your journey with your guardian, which is going to be taking place in the next module, serendipity and your intuition will be leading the way. In other words, you might go straight to the changers module, move through all the six steps until you're at the reveal your next quest section, and then be guided to the laughers while somebody else might go straight to the healers module, move through the six steps there until they're at the reveal your next quest section there, and then be guided to the hunters. It's all exactly as it's meant to be. The sloth oracle. One more thing that you're gonna notice is a little sloth oracle popping up throughout the course. The sloth is here to remind you to slow down, to smell the flowers, to integrate your experiences and enjoy your life. Anytime you feel stressed out or hurried, just click on that little sloth and see what deliciously restful, contemplative, and inspiring invitations or experiences it has in store for you.